This is the Retirement Years Podcast with your hosts, Mary Ellen French and Dave Wing. Hi there. Thanks for tuning in. Are you someone who's dreaming of that far off day when you'll be able to retire? Maybe you've even got one of those retirement countdown clocks on your computer. Or maybe retirement's around the corner and you're dreading it because you love your job and you can't imagine your life without it. Well, regardless of which category you fall into, you're in the right place. Hi, my name is Mary Ellen French, and together with my co-host, Dave Wing, we're here to answer all your questions about retirement and hopefully leave you inspired to dive into all of the possibilities retirement has to offer. But first, who are these two people you're asking yourself? Let me introduce myself. I'm a mom of two young adults. I'm a wife. I'm a daughter. I'm a sister. And I'm also an educator who retired unexpectedly three years ago. I wasn't planning to retire when I did, but life has a way of throwing curveballs at you until you get tired of dodging them and you say to the universe, enough already. I get it. Something has to change. I hadn't given retirement much thought. I certainly hadn't done any planning. So I really didn't know what to expect. And as a result, I drifted. I drifted for a long time. And it's only recently that I've realized there's more to retirement than stopping work so much more. And I want to share what I've learned with everyone who hasn't yet retired because, man, there's a lot to think about and take action on ahead of time. Thanks, Mary Ellen. It all started for me many years ago. Okay, not that many years ago, where I was born in the city of Brockville, Ontario. I was the youngest of four and, according to my siblings, was immediately granted the title of the favorite child and the most spoiled. It's funny, I remember those early days a lot differently. I remember being taunted and teased by my siblings purely for their entertainment. I was put to work as soon as I was useful. My parents ran a small fishing tackle and souvenir shop for tourists. We lived in a village of about 200 people. They ran that store for over 50 years until they passed away in 2007, sadly just five days apart. With all hands on deck in the home business, I did not come from a long line of family members who attended post-secondary education. After high school, I did go to college to learn the ins and outs of radio broadcasting. After graduation, I worked part-time at various radio stations until I was offered an illustrious permanent position. Six days a week, midnight to 6 a.m. Not only that, the job would pay the kingly sum of $185 a week. Faced with that prospect, I thought that perhaps further education was warranted, so I enrolled at Queen's University as a mature student where I completed an undergraduate degree and a Bachelor of Education. I went on to be an elementary teacher for 13 years, and I worked as a local union representative for 12 years. I concluded my career by working for the union on a provincial level for six more years. And it was during those six years, with a commute about two hours each way, that I really started pondering the benefits of retirement. On a personal note, I'm fortunate enough to be married to someone who loves me enough to put up with me. (laughs) We have two mostly wonderful children and a rescue pup from St. Lucia. Our son is in his third year of university, and our daughter is about to enter university next year. I won't admit it to them, but I will miss them every day. Like Mary Ellen, after retirement, I kind of felt a little bit adrift. I retired in 2019 and was just starting to appreciate all the things I could do with my time. And then COVID hit. Fortunately, Mary Ellen came to me with the idea of this podcast. I have to admit, Working to create this show and the prospect of sharing and learning with you has been a much-needed spark to help me once again see the potential that lies ahead in retirement. So that's us. And what you can expect from us in future episodes of this weekly podcast are insights into what retirement is really like. The good, the bad, the oh my gosh, I never would have thought of that. We'll talk to people who will inspire you with what they're doing in retirement and offer you a glimpse of what could be possible for you. And we'll share what we're learning on our retirement journey. On the Retirement Years podcast, in addition to meeting some very interesting people and hearing their stories, 
we will explore topics that will be relevant to anyone who is retired or about to make that decision to retire. We'll discuss the importance of healthy eating and maintaining an active lifestyle, how to stay connected with friends and family through social networking. We'll also look at ways that you can give back to your community while making time to do the things you want to do because you enjoy them. Along the way, we also plan to bust a lot of myths and misconceptions about aging and life in retirement. We've made a long list of what we've learned so far, but most importantly, we want to hear from you. What questions do you have? Send them to us by email, the Retirement Years Podcast, all one word, at gmail.com, or tweet us at Retirement Years. Our website is a work in progress, so check it out and give us feedback. The Retirement Years Podcast.com. Coming up on our next episode, we'll look at the stages involved in the transition from work to retirement. What can you do to make the transition smoother and more rewarding before or even after retirement? How will you adjust and fill your time? Why is the prospect of retirement so scary for some people? Join us as we look at ways to prepare for that well deserved but huge life change that is retirement. Until next time, I'm Mary Ellen. And I'm Dave. And we can't wait to talk to you next week. Be well.